Hello guys, you are welcome back. So in our previous video, we learned about what is depreciation and how the um, depreciation is being treated in the books of account. So in uh, this video, we learn about the depreciation methods. Yeah, basically major methods for charging the depreciation. So here I have listed down the major methods. First is our straight line method. Second, declining balance method. Third, sum of digits method. Then unit of production method. And after that, we have the modified accelerated recovery system. So we will discuss these two methods in detail. So as per the straight line method, the same amount is being charged as depreciation over the useful life of an asset. In case of declining balance method, we charge the higher amount in the initial years. And then in the later years, we charge the lesser amount as depreciation. Now, then we have the sum of digits method. In this case, or in under this method, we charge the depreciation based on the remaining useful life of an asset. In case of unit of production method, we charge the depreciation based on the usage of that machine, basically how much units it has produced. Then we have the modified accelerated recovery system. So this under this method, we start our depreciation schedule uh, with the declining balance method. Then we shift to the uh, straight line method to make our scrap value zero. So in case of SLM, we charge the same amount as depreciation. In case of declining balance method, higher amount in the initial years and the lesser amount in the later years. In case of we uh, sum of digits method, we calculate the depreciation based on the remaining life of an asset. And in case of your unit of production method, the depreciation is being calculated based on the usage of that machinery or of that asset. But in case of modified accelerated recovery system, we start with the declining balance method and then we shift to the SNM. Okay. So here I have prepared the depreciation schedule as per the straight line method. So Mr. Ram has purchased the machinery for rupees 50,000 and the salvage value of the machinery is rupees 0 and the economic life is 5 years. So the formula for calculating the depreciation is your original cost that is 50,000 minus scrap value that is 0 divided by the economic life. So here I will get the 10,000. So basically, I will charge this 10,000 in each year as depreciation. So you can see here, I have written 10,000 as annual depreciation and the book value here. So in the beginning, at the beginning of the first year, I have the book value rupees 50,000. From that, I have deducted 10,000 as depreciation and I have got 40,000 at and the end as book value. So this book value at the end, it will become my balance PD. If you haven't forget that balance CD carried down will become the balance brought down. So in the beginning of the second year, we have 40,000 as machinery. So from that, we will again deduct 10,000 and you will get 30,000. So this book value at the end, it will become your opening book value. If you see at the end of the fifth year, then you have 10,000 as remaining book value and on that 10,000 you will charge 10,000 and depreciation and if you will deduct this amount from this amount then you will get zero as the scrap value. Now we will move forward and learn the declining balance method. So here again Mr. Ram has purchased the machine but he has decided to charge the depreciation as per the declining balance method. So here, uh, we don't have the salvage value as zero, but this is 16,384. This machine can be sold for this much amount. So we have the cost as 50,000, salvage value as 16,384, and the economic life of our machinery is five years, and the rate is 20%. So please don't forget that you will charge the higher amount in the initial years, and the lesser amount, in the later years of the useful life of an asset. So here the rate is 20%. You will use this rate to charge the depreciation based on the 
beginning book value. So here in the beginning, I have rupees fifty thousand yeah, in the as a, in machinery. So if I charge twenty percent of this fifty thousand, then I will get ten thousand as depreciation. So I have written ten thousand. So if I detect this annual depreciation or the annual charge from the beginning book value, then at the end I have forty thousand. Now this balance serial balance carried down with that is my book value at the end. It will become my opening value. So this is forty thousand. Now again you will charge this twenty percent on this forty thousand. Yes, the same amount will not be charged as depreciation in previous uh, slide. Uh, we have seen that we have charged this ten thousand, yeah, for the slide or useful life of an asset. But here we have taken this twenty percent. So twenty percent of forty thousand is it comes to eight thousand. From that uh, forty thousand we deduct eight thousand, and the sum comes to the amount comes to thirty two thousand. This book value at the end it will become your opening value, and again we will charge the twenty percent as depreciation that comes to six thousand four hundred. And so on. At the end of the, at the beginning of the fifth year, we have twenty thousand four eighty as the book value of the machinery. From that, uh, we charge the depreciation four zero nine six, and the scrap value is sixteen thousand three hundred eighty four. So, in case of declining balance method, we generally don't get zero as scrap value. So that's all for today, and we have learned the major methods for charging the debt.